going to hear from two more men that we're going to preach. The Lord's going to move in a special way here tonight. This man is an anointed evangelist. Amen. Amen. Praise God, folks. I can tell when I'm in a place that people really know how to worship God because it's pretty easy to worship God with this great music. It's really easy to worship the Lord when you have this kind of talent. But you folks continue to worship God even when the music stops. This newfangled church world that we're dealing with now that's really entertainment driven. When the music stops, they stop. But I'm in a place tonight that if the lights went out and there was no electricity and we couldn't turn a microphone on. A lot of people that are not having church tonight are going to come back in their buildings and find something. That the true worshipers never stopped. You can be seated. Just, I'm not going to overreach the time. I'm just going to give honor to your pastor. Do you love and appreciate Pastor Spell? Sister Spell. Love you. I'm so, I have a lot of things that I could say, but I'm only going to say to you what the Holy Ghost spoke to me this morning in prayer. And I, I don't have time to go back into what the Lord showed me when these things first began to unravel themselves with your pastor. I only want to tell you that I appreciate you standing for the man of God. I hope that the church world will come back to their churches when they do and be as submitted to the man of God as they have been to the government that they've been so quick to hold back. I'm not here to preach or get in motion. I'm going to read a prophecy to you. But I appreciate a church that stands for holiness inside and out. And loves people who don't see things the way we see it. And this world needs to understand something. That there are some people that are willing to die for this. It's easy to preach this at camp meetings as I have with thousands of people that feel just like we feel. But it's another thing to preach it with folks throwing spiritual eggs into me. A lot of these guys that preach a lot of stuff. I've been to their conferences. I've been to their camp meetings. I've preached it with them and for them. But all of a sudden, they don't say what they were saying anymore. Thank you, Pastor Spiegel. Can I prophesy out of this church for one minute? I don't typically do it like this, but I wrote it down because I felt the Holy Ghost said, hand it off to the pastor when you're done. But the Lord told me to tell not only Pastor Spell, but to tell you sweet people who I've never met, but you've been so kind since I've been here, that for every Demas and every Judas who has forsaken you, I'm sending you a Joshua and a Caleb to take their place. The Lord said, not only to your pastor, but to this church, I've anointed you for this hour, even as I have anointed many others, but because of fear, they have forfeited their faith, and they refuse to possess what I am giving them. Therefore, I will not only give you this revival, but the Lord said, I will give you their revival. For they will not do their work, therefore they will not receive their crown. Rejoice, the Lord said, for I have given you a revival that is worthy of persecution. Fear neither man nor the principalities who, by the way, are being shaken out of their place in Baton Rouge right now. This isn't about a government. This is about a prince that has been set up in Baton Rouge who is being moved out of his place by a one God, Jesus' name, church. The Lord said, neither fear man nor principalities, for as you have stood with me, the Lord said, I will stand with you, for I am Emmanuel. The Lord said, ignore the scoffers and ignore the mockers. Do not be afraid of the fiery darts that are being shot at you, for I am sending a mighty wind that will blow them off course until they miss their mark. And I want to look right at Pastor Spill and tell him the Holy Ghost said, The more they battle you, the more I will bless you. And the more they hate you, the more I will help you, saith the Lord. The more they revile you, the more I will send revival to 
for you. The apostolic church has become so politically correct, we don't understand we're not supposed to fit in. But the more that we're hurt, the more we're helped by God. I, let me finish this very quickly. The Lord said, I'm sending a sword of separation to this land, a dividing of wheat from tares. And I am gathering an army of intercessors and prophets into this house. They will come from all over the nation to be strengthened, but they will also strengthen you. The Lord said, the blood of the innocent has come up before me in this city. And they have killed the fruit of their womb. He's speaking about abortion. It's a sad day when our own preachers was ripped down one of our own. But why don't they go speak against abortion clinics? They don't have any problem speaking against a one God church. But why don't they go out and speak against people who are committing witchcraft and abortions and homosexuality? Because God is raising up prophets in this hour. Not that we're saying money's coming, but we're saying Jesus is coming. Listen to me. The Lord said, the blood of the innocent has come up before me in this city. Speaking of Baton Rouge, they have ripped and killed the fruit of their wounds. Yet, I will open up the womb of this church. And for every life they have taken, I will bring new life in my house. For every Stephen they have stoned, the Lord said, I will bring forth a Saul and transform him into Paul. I am opening up the heavens over this house, the Lord said. And for those of you, I'm speaking to you, who have suffered life and have had situations happen to you at the hands of man, the Lord said, I will pour out manna from the heavens, waters of refreshing and waters of finance will flow into this place. I'm hurry, I'm almost there. The Lord said to tell you, remind them, I am their source and I am their provider. If they will lift up their voices and cry aloud and let my people know that they believe my word tonight, I will make the enemy pay back sevenfold. Everything that's been taken away from you, everything that's been stripped from you. The Lord said this, this is the beginning of the last great awakening. I have awakened you, but I will use you to awaken many. Open your mouth and let there be a shout go up to the Lord that says, Lord, 